An inquiry has alleged that a German billionaire who disappeared six years ago under the famous Matterhorn Peak in Switzerland under unexplained circumstances is believed to be residing in Moscow with a Russian mistress. Retail tycoon Karl Erwin Halb, a German-American, vanished in Zermatt, Switzerland, in April 2018 while preparing for a ski mountaineering competition. He was then 58 years old. The rich businessman never made it back to his hotel after being last spotted one morning alone ascending the mountain in an elevator, which his trainer noted was unusual for a man who was usually very cautious about safety and well prepared. His body was never located despite a six-day search by authorities that saw teams of alpine rescuers and five aircraft scour the area. Three years later, a Cologne court ruled Halb, the former managing director and part owner of the German retail and grocery giant Tengelmann Group, dead. He left behind a wife, two children, and a firm employing some 75,000 people. In 2021, Christian, his younger brother, testified in court that there was no proof the alpinist, whose estimated net worth was £5.2 billion, was still alive. But now, a significant investigation headed by the German network RTL says it has located Hob in Moscow, and it thinks the business magnate is there with Veronika Ermolova, a considerably younger mistress. According to RTL, Christian is currently being looked into by the prosecutor's office in Cologne for possibly making false claims while under oath. Following his brother's disappearance, Christian took over as head of the Tengelman Group and said he hired a security firm to look into the rumors that he was still alive. The German Daily Die Zeit was informed by his attorney, Mark Binz, that, of course, there is nothing to the accusation. According to an investigation by RTL and media outlet Stern, retail tycoon Hobb, who would be 64 years old today, is suspected of calling Ermolova's phone 13 times in the three days prior to his disappearance in 2018. The calls were significant, one going on for over an hour, raising suspicions that he was preparing to stage his own demise with Ermolova and Moscow's assistance. According to the investigation, Ermolova, 44, was the owner of an inconspicuous, St. Petersburg event agency that planned outdoor enthusiasts skiing, hiking, and climbing trips. However, there is also a suspicion that Ermolova is connected to Russia's FSB security force. Her current LinkedIn profile describes her as the marketing director of Russian Event, a firm that offers travel experiences. Tingleman's further inquiry uncovered a tight relationship between Hobb and the mysterious Ermolova, who is thought to be around 20 years Hobbs Jr. and was characterized as a thin, athletic woman with shoulder-length brown hair, dark eyes, and open grin. Though they emphasize that this cannot be verified, investigators speculated that she may work for the Russian Internal Secret Service FSB. What is verifiable, though, is that she consistently appears in the same locations at the same times as Karl Ervin Hobb, the report stated. Both visited Moscow and Sochi in a matter of days in July 2008. Both took the same overnight train, but in different cabins, from Moscow to St. Petersburg in May 2009. The same individual made the reservations for both trips at the same time. It's also odd that Ermolova arrived in Moscow the day before only to board a train to return home. There are further brief travel overlaps between Hob and Ermolova during stays in Baku, 2014, Omsk, 2010, Sochi, 2011, and Moscow, 2015, 2017. It is unclear why these alleged meetings took place. The study says, it sounds nothing like a romantic getaway. Liv von Boeditcher, a journalist for RTL, conjectured that Karl Ervin Hobbs' purported appearances in Russia and his disappearance in Switzerland could have resulted from dubious business operations. He is known to have done business with questionable people in the Russian economy, she asserted. Our assumption is that Karl Ervin could have run into problems in the West as a result of doing business with Russia or with Russian business partners. The RTL and Stern investigation claimed that just before he passed away, Hobb is believed to have called Russian financier Andrei Suzdaltsev in both Geneva and Russia in addition to Ermolova. Known as the Scarface Oligarch, Sergei Grishin, a well-known self-confessed fraudster, 
was one of Hobbes' other business partners in Russia. Grishin sold his $14.7 million Montecito, California house to none other than Prince Harry and Meghan Markle in 2020, generating headlines both in the US and the UK. The property, which features a seven-acre site, pool, tennis court, guest quarters, and a gorgeous main home, was purchased by a Russian oligarch who was also a co-owner of Rosevro Bank in 2009. His possession of a second Californian property, where the 1983 film starring Al Pacino of the same name was filmed, gave rise to his nickname, Scarface. It was said that Grishin passed away from a protracted illness last year, but there has never been any documentation of his funeral. In an interview with Die Welt, RTL journalist Boetitcher conjectured that Hob might have been used by the Russians. It's not about an agent with a floppy hat and a trench coat or a James Bond, but about influence on politics and the economy. His disappearance came at a time when Tengelman was doing pretty badly and was expanding into Russia with the OBDIY chain, for example. He could have been acting as a kind of influence agent for Russia in Germany. I'm positive it was a staged escape rather than a skiing accident, the journalist declared. It's unknown exactly how Hobb carried off his purported escape. After leaving on a solo ski tour in April 2018, there's no evidence of his location. Some people think he skied across the Alps and descended into Italy.